Ladies and gentlemen, how you doing? This is Dave from Strategic Defensive Solutions, also known as 1911 Horror Cal Guns. Um, what brings me here today is we're going to do a review on the Wilson Combat CQB uh, 9mm pistol that I recently acquired. Uh, I just got it past its break-in period, so it's pretty much good to go. Um, haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. What I'd like to do is uh, just kind of give you a, a general overview of the gun, uh, some of the mods that I had done to it, uh, how I spec that pistol out. Basically, I've had this gun built in my head for you know many years, and uh, just never put a file to metal and made it happen. But I uh, spoke with George over at MI Gunslingers. He had an existing order that somebody had backed out of. Um, you know, I walked into that order. I still had to wait about a year and a half before I took possession of the pistol. Uh, made a lot of changes to that order. Kind of went back and forth a few times. Um, you know, first going over what what specs I want the gun to have from a functionality standpoint, because functionality is is obviously key. Um, you know, I've dealt with the 1911 pistol uh, and platform for about the last 18 years in a professional capacity, whether it be military or as an instructor or a gunsmith or competitor. So. I pretty much knew exactly what I wanted the gun to be able to do, um, and then once we got that hammered out, I, I figured, you know, how do I want it to look? Um, but looks were secondary to functionality, and that, to me, is very important. Um, so for those of you out in the YouTube land, we're going to confirm the pistol is, in fact, unloaded and clear, okay? That should make you guys happy. Um, so... A uh, big shout out to George for making the process as seamless as it could possibly be, especially living here in California. Um, they throw us through a couple of uh, little bit of hoops there. And um, yeah, he was just an absolute dream to deal with, and he was always able to you know, make the changes and communicate effectively and in a timely fashion. So if you ever have a chance to purchase one of these pistols or, or a pistol by any of the other um, you know, mid to high end manufacturers that he uh, you know sells for. I say go for it. You know, he's a solid dude, um, good guy to deal with. So let's talk a little bit about what I had done to this pistol, um, and then uh, <clears throat> we'll get into some other stuff here, and I'll demonstrate you know uh, a little bit about the action of the firearm, how the you know slide runs on the rails, and, and you know, all that stuff. <clears throat> so. First off, we'll start from the front and work to the rear. Uh, we had Wilson Combat flush cut and reverse crown the barrel. Okay, get a good look at that. And then we had them ball cut front of slide. Right. We also had them omit slide markings front uh, and rear on both sides, with exception of the script here it says Wilson Combat and the logo at the rear wanted to keep those things in place but other than that it's it's just a bare classy kind of pistol I had them go with um, the gold bead front sight had them serrate the top strap get a good luck at that um, all in all they did a really great job uh, on everything that I that I had them do uh, we had them relieve the slide stop pinhole then we had them flare or flute, excuse me, the uh, chamber area, serrate the back of the slide. I don't know if you can get a good look at that. It's 40 lines per inch, so it's pretty fine. Also had them add the bulletproof ambidextrous safety, which works incredibly well. I mean, it snicks right on and off with positive authority, as it should. And then uh, finally, the magazine well. It's obviously blended very, very nicely. I'm really impressed with the overall quality of the pistol uh, and the way that everything turned out. I haven't really put the finish through its paces. I'm not going to go toss it in the mud uh, just to prove a point as far as durability of finish, but uh, that's kind of an overview of what was done to the pistol, and it is chambered in 9mm, which is uh, something I really like. I've been working with 9mm 1911s for quite some time. This is not my first, um, but it is really the finest example. I mean, I've never owned anything like this pistol, and, and truth be told, I was a little bit intimidated when I first unboxed it, uh, because it was just a bit much to take in, you know. Uh, it's a fine pistol. It's built impeccably well, and in 
part two of this video, we're going to go over all the internals and the fitment of those and, and look at the gunsmithing involved in the relationship, the working relationship between the parts. Um, but we're not going to dive into that in this video. What I want to do is just kind of give you a quick overview of, of the pistol, how it operates, you know, uh, not, not a technical overview, but just kind of give you an idea of the quality of the build. If you grab the front end of the gun, you can't move it around. You know, it's, it's rock solid. The thing feels like a, a piece of billet in the hand. You can't move that bushing around in the slide or the barrel around the bushing. It's very, very solid, you know, all the way around. There's no springing in the barrel. You get no movement there. However, it unlocks freely and easily. I mean, it's not like some of the others where you really have to, you know, break them open, so to speak. Uh, it just comes right straight out of the box it, or bag you know, right there. Uh, it just comes right. Um, the frame and slide fitment, front and rear, tight, lateral, and, uh, you know, or vertical and horizontal. Uh, there's no play whatsoever, yet the slide glides freely and unimpeded at all. I mean, it's just a really smooth running gun. You can hear how smooth that is. The only thing you're hearing is the, the spring internally working this way around the disconnector going up and down in its slot. Um, the trigger is fit really well. It's tight in its track. There's almost zero movement up and down in that trigger, but it runs very smooth in its track. And when I took possession of the pistol, the trigger pull was right at four and a quarter pounds. Now, I know through use that I'm probably going to lose about a half a pound in weight over a few thousand rounds and a few thousand dry fires, but it's super clean. You get past your initial take-up, and then boom, it's, it snaps like the proverbial glass rod. I hate to use that term, um, but it is what it is. And then resets, very pronounced as well. It's nice, it's clean, it's right there, it's short. It does everything it's supposed to do. I mean, you put a magazine in, it stays there, you drop it out, it goes away. It's, it's not rocket science. So um, you put an empty mag in, or you shoot till it goes empty, and it locks back. It does what it's supposed to do as you would expect with a pistol of, uh, of this quality. Okay? As far as feeding, it feeds very smooth. I haven't had, like I said, a single hiccup. I haven't shot it a ton, about 550 rounds. Um, but put the mag in, let that slide go, and it, it feeds whatever you feed it. Uh, that's for sure. And then, you know, just demonstrate that again, right? It does what it's supposed to do. Um, and that's really about it. I don't want to be on here too darn long. But, um, you know, now, like I said, I took possession. I was at about four and a quarter pounds. Um, today, as I measured it, we're sitting right at you know, four pounds. I don't know if you can read that or not. I uh, did an average of ten pulls. They all kind of snapped right at four. So it's a really concise trigger, which tells me it was fit well. And I've already gone into the guts of the gun uh, and confirmed all of that. But all in all, very impressed. Can't wait to start incorporating this pistol into some of my courses now that I'm a little more comfortable with shooting it and holstering it and stuff. I mean, I did not buy it to be a safe queen, um, and it's not going to be one. So look forward to um, you know bringing you part two of this video, which is going to go into the internals, and then part three, which is going to be live fire uh, range evaluation of the pistol. We're going to start off doing some accuracy drills, and then we're going to run into some more dynamic drills, running from a holster, uh, shooting at speed, at distance, things of that nature. So look forward to those. Um, make sure you like us, subscribe to us, and all that good stuff, and then uh, you also plug over to our Facebook page and do the same so you can get all those updates um, as they come out. So I hope you enjoy it. Look forward to parts two and three.